automotive doors are very similar in the way that they're put together and taken apart. So today we're going to take a look at just how to do that. The door panel trim was removed by removing a screw by the door release and there's usually a little cover that you pop off and you take that screw out and there's a screw here where you pull the door shut and there's usually a little cover over that. We can undo the plugs once we pull the door panel off and the door latch. To remove the door panel you can use a tool like this and get under the door panel, pull it away a little bit and then use your hands to pull that away. Now some of the clips may break and that's normal because they clip in there real firm. Once you pull the door away you can undo the clip here. There's a little clip and a ball and you can undo the plugs. Once you have that done you can slide the panel up and away. After the door panels off we can remove anything on the outside like the speaker and this bracket. You'll want to save the plastic and reinstall it because wind can blow through there and you'll feel that cold air in the winter time if this is not replaced. To remove any rubber seals you can get behind there with a tool like this and if you pull it away a bit you'll see that there's little clips or push pins that hold it in there and you'll want to get up under there and pry those guys out. Now again some of them can get damaged so you want to be as careful as you can and pull those away like that and again this tool I find works the best on those guys and just go around and remove all the clips like that and this rubber seal will come off any plastic trim around the window will most likely pop off. And you can just run your fingers under there all the way around and pop that off. The rubber grommets can just be gently worked out. Peeled out like that and any other clips can be pulled away and there's usually little tabs on the back if you can squeeze them that's great see we have not sure if you can see it but there's a little prong here and a prong here sometimes to save clips you might have to squeeze the back of them together and pull it out and you can see the clip has two little prongs on the outside so by squeezing it together you'll be able to pull it out. All plugs are a bit different but if you look closely you can see there's a release. On every plug there's a release so if you can push that find something that pushes and the clip will come off there or the plug will come off. So again we just push that release and pull it off. Before you pull the wiring harness out, it's a good idea to take a few pictures. That way you can route it exactly in the same manner that it was routed before. We do have one more clip, or one more clip right here. 
It's a good, good, good example of how to squeeze it together and pop it out. And again, here's an example of some of the tricky clips you have out there. This guy, you have to push right here to release. This guy, you have to push right there and it opens up that white thing a bit so that the plug comes out and this guy you have to stick a screwdriver in there and slide that up and then it can come unplugged. With the window in the up position you can now access the nuts that hold the window to the mechanism and they are right here one right there and one right there Once you remove the fasteners that hold the window into place, you can then remove the nuts and bolts that hold the window mechanism. Next, we'll remove the window tracks. And the window should come down after we pull this tape. And finally, we'll remove the handle. The first step in removing the handle is to pull this little plug to get access to that little screw. Now we're going to pull out on the handle as far as it'll go and loosen the screw. Now it's not going to come out, it just backs out until it sort of stops. Right there. You don't want to try to take it out, it just backs out until it stops. And then that holds the handle out like that. Then you just take this part and pull it right out. Then the handle, you pull it back a little bit and wiggle. And that's what that guy looks like. Then there is a bolt right there. And that happens to be a torx 
we're just going to loosen that guy up. And now we can remove the handle and the latch at the same time. We'll pull this little grommet. And this rubber pulls right out of there. And there's a screw up here for this glass. And with a little twist of a screwdriver, and we're going to go like this to pry these clips away. And here's an exploded view so you can see exactly what's inside of a door and clearly see how to remove and replace the parts. First, you can remove the speaker. Second, you can raise the window and tape it up. Third, you can remove this window track bracket, two bolts. Fourth, you're going to loosen these two bolts right here, which clamps to the window. Then you have one, two, three, four bolts. That'll drop down and you can pull it through the hole. That's number four. Five, you can let this window slide down and it'll drop down into the door like this and you can pull it right up through the slot. That takes care of the window. That's five. Six, you're going to remove the door handle and latch as one whole assembly. No need to undo any of the linkage. So that comes out. And last, there's a screw up here and a screw here. This pulls right out of the door and this works its way out and you can remove that. If you'd like to see exactly how to remove the regulator and window, I'm going to make a video on that, and exactly how to remove the door handle and latch, I'll make a video on that. Replacing the parts of a door is much easier because you know exactly how it comes apart. You would reverse the order. Install the latch and the handle, six, five, slide the window up and tape it into place, Four, install the regulator. Three, the window track. Then install the speaker, run your wiring, and throw on the door panel. Again, disassembling and assembling doors can be difficult, but if you take your time, study each part, use YouTube for help, and be careful, it can be done without breaking parts. I hope you enjoyed this video on removing and replacing the parts of a door, and if you did, and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.